All right, so obviously the Joe Rogan experience is one of the best places for people to promote their merch or their shows or their products, whatever they're trying to sell. So when his guests try to plug something, that's a pretty big moment for them and you don't want to screw it up. So you got to be careful. You don't want to plug something too much because then Joe will just get annoyed by it and he'll start making fun of whatever you're trying to promote. Just ask Brian Callen. Hey, for an American hey, male. hey, put your toes on. <laughs> Say, take those off. Shut the <laughs> fuck up. Take those off. What's the man? Listen to him. Come so on. So silly. Well, I know you want to promote your goofy I'm flip. Not, yeah. I'm not <laughs> good promoting him. I just got to even call you. him toe holds. Feel, feel him under your feet. Put your toe holds on. Feel him for you. Feel him under your feet. Come on. And wear it. I, then I, I get mad feet. and you'd call me up. Why aren't you wearing your toe holds? <laughs> <laughs> Why aren't you wearing your toe holds? <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> with my watch. How many have I sent you now? <laughs> five. I have five pairs He's of toe like holds. He's like this. I've Over sent him And then I'd imagine because of all this, at the end of the episode, when people usually promote their shows or their gigs or whatever, Brian was trying to promote his brand new comedy special that he just released, and Joe just ended the podcast. He wanted nothing to do with that. Thank we you. love you Plug guys. My special Thank show. you, everybody. I love you guys. <laughs> Bye. So clearly, you don't want to go too hard trying to promote something. You know, I'm sure Brian's been telling Joe about these toe holds forever, and then he brings it up on the podcast, and Joe's just completely annoyed. And then Brian doesn't even get his plug in at the end of the show. But another thing you got to be careful about when you're promoting something is Joe's not afraid to give his honest opinion on whatever you're trying to promote, whether it's good or bad. Like with Brendan Schaub, we've seen him trash Brendan Schaub's whiskey, not for the taste or anything, but the name which is basically Brendan's whole brand name, so he's shitting on Brendan's whole brand here. It really is good. Thank you, sir. It's so easy Long to time coming. He's come up with a better name. How dare you, Joe? I had a people over, and I poured them Tiger Thick. I didn't tell them. Every single one of them was like, holy f***, yeah, this is just, great. Just maybe not the thick part. I like it. I like that name. It's my brand name. You don't like you Tiger know? Thick? I like it. Okay. You like the name? What do you want to call it? You, you want Tiger it? Trace? What do you want? No, it doesn't have to be Trace. <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> What do, you want, what do you want, Jack Thick? Just something. Jack something that doesn't Jack make me Thick? embarrassed to tell people what it is. Tiger Thick? How are you embarrassed? <laughs> what are we talking about? What's, hey, what's Sebastian? So the other day, Steve-O was on Joe Rogan's podcast, and he showed up with a whole bag of stuff to promote. He at least waited till the end. I don't think he promoted anything during the podcast. Thank God, because Joe probably would have gotten annoyed, especially if it was Steve-O's butt wipes. Because at the end of the podcast, Steve-O pulled those out of his bag, and he's getting ready to promote them. He thought Joe would get a laugh out of them. And right away, Joe just started talking about how bad they are because they're advertised as flushable wipes, but you really should not be flushing these, I guess, because they'll clog up the toilets, they get stuck in the pipes, they never break down, and Joe just starts going off on them. And it was just hilarious because Steve-O looked like he was all excited to promote these, and he thought Joe would think they're funny, but no, it just completely backfires on him. A lot of money in Monsanto. Dude, let me tell you about, about what, what, what I'm selling for cheddar. You're selling things? Yeah, what are you selling? Dude. You got a bag of stuff you're selling? Steve-O's butt wipes for your butthole. Uh, well, that's where generally you'd use a butt wipe. <laughs> yeah, flushable butt you wipes, You wouldn't use dude. it for your cheeks. <laughs> They're flushable? Right. Not really. Let me tell you something about those flushable butt wipes. Don't oh. flush them. Oh, yeah? No, they all fucking clog. Talk to a plumber. Those fucking things all clog up. They don't break down. They all get stuck. They oh, get shit. stuck in pipes. Yeah, I, I picked the wrong place to listen. Fucking... <laughs> Google are butt wipes flushable? Flushable butt wipes? Are they flushable? They're not. They they yeah. tell you don't flush them. If you flush, talk to a plumber. They fucking have people's pipes clogged up all the time with those things. Wow. It's a, it's like essentially a cloth. You're you're fucking you're flushing a rag down the toilet. You're not even supposed to flush paper towels. T paper towels break down in your hand when you get them wet. Those things don't break down. <laughs> don't tell those. I, uh, I find, love, find I, out though. For, well, for so two, two, um, two answers come up. One, a company selling it so it says like theirs oh, are flushable, sure showing a video of it. They are. The, you can flush them. That's not the point. The point is they're not going to break down. They're going to make their way out into wherever the fuck that water so this goes. This is what their their video shows of breaking down. Yeah, but so. again, this is theirs, and I don't know that okay. all of them are made this way. But that's and toilet I'm, paper, buddy. No, no. One Hold of on, them, go back, go I, back to that video. One of them was toilet paper, the other was the flushable. Right, wipe. but the flushable wipe wasn't breaking down. The yeah, toilet yeah, paper too. was breaking down. Yeah, so then they look into it for a little. You know, I'm not a plumber. I don't know. Some plumbers in the comments said that yeah, you shouldn't be flushing these things. So I just wouldn't be flushing this stuff. And of course, the company that's selling them is going to claim they're flushable. 
which yeah, I guess you could flush them, but it's probably just not good for the pipes or whatever. So of course, Steve-O had some other stuff to promote too. He had some hot sauce and he had a book and at least Joe was cool with that stuff, but Steve, I think he was reaching for more at the end. Like, it looks like he's digging into his bag again. And then Joe's just like, all right, thanks for coming on, dude. It's, uh, it, it's, it's so rad. All right. Yeah. Well, hey, brother, it was great to see you. It was dude, fun. Likewise, fun, man. Fun conversation. Dude. I enjoyed it. And, you know, I think this might even help Steve-O sell these butt wipes even more because Joe making fun of him, now people are talking about that. And now you could like put on his website, Joe Rogan shit on these butt wipes. That'd be a pretty good marketing campaign. No, but I wonder if this will stop Steve-O from selling them at all. You know, I doubt it because people are talking about how Steve-O's show is just one giant ad read now. Apparently he's just always trying to sell random stuff. And it seems like people are starting to get annoyed by it. It feels like a TV show or something where like every 10 minutes it cuts to some commercials. So it does sound like he has enough other stuff to sell. So maybe he could give up the butt wipes. Maybe Joe will talk him out of it or something. I don't know though. Maybe the fact that Joe made fun of him, people want to buy him even more. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. And then make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe to the program. And I'll catch you at the next video.